What's going on YouTube? Giasna right here. So in today's video, we're going to talk about a new Syria Impactor alternative. For those of you who do not know, Syria Impactor is the tool that we use almost daily to sideload various IPAs, including the jailbreak applications, to the iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. This has been created by Soric, but sometimes it has bugs and it prevents you from being able to sign the IPA and so on. Most of the times, CDI Impactor gets fixed and it works perfectly fine. But Jonathan Levin, the author of multiple books on iOS and macOS internals, has updated his tool called the JTool and is now able to code sign just like CDI Impactor does. Quote, move over CDI Impactor, JTool can now code sign with any code sign identity in your keychain, will auto detect iPhone Mac dev certificate from partial match and sign with valid certificate chain using the security framework APIs, so only on Mac OS. Now the JTool already existed and is a very very powerful utility created by Jonathan Levin and is actually very useful if you're into iOS security and iOS reverse engineering because it lets you pretty much perform quite a lot of tasks on binaries and so on. But now it includes the signing capability, so you can do that. And if you don't want to use like CDA Impactor, or if for example CDA Impactor is broken and is not able to sign for the moment, and you're, you really want to sign an IPA and you're hurrying up, then you can use the uh, J tool with no problem. And you can check out in here the information about the new options and about the signing. Uh, and if you go ahead in here, it says code signing options. And as you can see, it pretty much shows you how you can, um, you can sign. You just use the sign parameter in here and it gives you more information. So this is pretty much what you need to do. You can read more on the manual in here. This is only available for the Mac OS and it's definitely powerful. Of course, that doesn't mean you have to ditch a CD Impactor. CD Impactor is still multi-platform and is still good. But in case CD Impactor doesn't work anymore for some reason or I don't know, it, you simply are not able to perform the signing due to some sort of error, then you're able to use this one if you have a Mac as a backup, which is quite good. If you want to check it out, you can check out uh, the website, new 6 bookcom for the J tool. It's Jonathan Levin's website and it has quite a lot of useful information. Now I'm pretty happy about this tool because up until now there was absolutely no CDA Impactor alternative. So if CDA Impactor failed, there was absolutely no way you can sideload the IPA without having the source code and simply compiling it in Xcode, which again requires a Mac. But if you do not have the uh, source code, then yeah, hard luck. So now there is an alternative for the CDA Impactor and this is the J tool. And although this is a command line tool compared to CDA Impactor that is a graphical user interface program, it's still useful in an emergency. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Thank you for watching. Just wanted to let you know about it in case you need it someday and in case CDA Impactor gets broken someday. And again, till the next time, I'm Gio Snow. Peace out.